I think there are two. Uh, we rebuilt South Glen, streets of South Glen, and we built the city park. I think those are two crowning jewels for the city. Prowess achievement would definitely have to be the park. That, um, I'm fortunate that I, I work next to the city building, and when I have a down day, and they do happen, I will, uh, I'll come over to the park and just kind of walk around and see what we were able to do as a city, as a, as a city council, to come together with staff to create this magical place where there's so many kids that are running around happy and smiling. Um, that by far is kind of a legacy thing, right? You made something that makes other people happy for years and years to come. That by far is the number one, one thing we've done. Let's see, my fondest memory from serving on city council um, came after we completed the park, the city park, and uh, one of my grandkids was there, and his comment to me was, this is the goodest park ever, Grandpa. That was a seal of the deal. Okay, we, we had an expert opinion. Well, the people that you get to meet in the community is by far the biggest piece, right? Because there's a lot of folks that don't believe in government, but when you have a chance to talk with them, help them out with something, and that light turns on where they're like, wow, they, he really cared. That's always been kind of my big driver for this. And just the, sens the, sation, the sensation that I get when I help people, I just makes me feel good, but then to give people some confidence that we do know what we're doing, we care, and you know, our staff is, the interactions getting to know everyone, staff, their families, um, things that are going on in their lives, that's been very rewarding as well. So it's just a, a whole myriad of things that's made this fantastic and I will definitely miss this. Words of advice for future council members. Um, First thing is listen to the citizens. They seem to have a knack for knowing what they want. And we, with the citizen involvement in forming Centennial, I mean, you've got a, pup, a, pup, a public that is willing to work and have a city so you know that you have a public that's willing to work and keep a city. Listen to them. Try to be true to yourself. If you want to make a joke, make a joke, as long as it's clean. But then at the same time, um, just communicate with your fellow council members about what you want to do and be open, honest, forthright about things. Just work together. Keep in mind it's the people that we represent. That's the number one thing, not the individual sitting in those council member chairs. My hopes for the city of Centennial, I think I'd like to see the city stay pretty much on the same path toward innovation and growing. Um, if I were to dream, I'd really like to see something like uh, another IKEA come in, but uh, I know that, you know, something along that, that path. And we have room for it, we have places for it that it would fit in really nicely and it would help this city tremendously. And then when we get our fiber in, and get it working, we can go a long, long way toward doing everything we think we want to do. We've got a lot of opportunities, so trying to find ways that we can maximize where we build certain things and continue to make this a destination location for work and shopping and fun activities. I think the city is in a good position. It, there's ways that can be, everything that we want to do can be done. As long as we remember we are a city. We're not the, we're not the, the rural area that we started out being. We're a city. Well, if I could say anything, it would be thank you. Um, I know when I was thinking about running for this office so long ago, um, I thought there's no way this community was going to give a guy like me, young, unproven, well tanned, um, an opportunity to serve his community and they, they, they did, they did and I'm just so grateful that they let me do it. I've learned so much about myself. I've enjoyed it. I think I've made a difference. Um, I think I've helped a lot of people build relationships with communities that we were having kind of a tough time with before. Um, but I just can't thank them enough for giving me a shot at this. In one word, describing Centennial, 
awesome. Downright awesome. How would I describe Centennial? Extraordinary, magnificent home. It's uh, special. I think special would be the word I'd have to choose.